up, folks? It's Tyler Beats, ninth hero by for our next part of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. This time, it's the Matimbo Wolves, and they're ready to face at OKC. This is the only game that's happening here for tonight in the Western Conference semifinals. And then, by then, we will have the first look right for the Eastern Conference Finals as the Celtics face on against the Heat. And that will be happening here right on the other side for its first game at the TD Garden Arena. It's a great matchup, but hopefully this might be what they're looking for. If there's a chance here for the Eastern Conference showdown in the Finals to be the one exact thing. And as right now, I'm standing by with Lightbulb, and he is now with the other commentators with Wood Spoonie. And finally, we have it across from here is Me Phone 4. And it's Ali LaForce that will be here for joining with us for tonight's game. Now it's time to see what goes on and let's see what goes in. Here we go, folks. Enjoy the game, folks, and let's get going. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA playoffs. Hi, welcome everyone. Welcome everyone to another NBA playoffs on Two K Sports. Great to have another NBA action in a Western Conference semifinals. I'm Mike Bob and I'm along with Nico, David Aldridge, and Cross. Let's do this is game six, as this will be a win or go home for the Minnesota Wolves. And they're trying to rally things up here in game six, if they can tie this series up with the game. This is not always easy. When bringing up here for the last game, it happens to be all for one because of this. It was an excellent and exciting game that puts it up here for the Timberwolves. Keep it on here. You know exactly what they always do. I'm really sure enough that they can definitely get this thing done and over it quickly out of time. But I'm hoping that might be what the pressure does. Let's see if it can handle it all. Here's a pass now. And the start run from Gobert. This one is missed. Colgan with his first rebound. Now finds the giddy. And Williams on his way down the attack. In his own, it's been rebounded again. For the rebound, and Smith takes it up and a layup drive and goes in. First bucket made for Jalen Williams. Here's Mike Conley. He's something's over right now and he gets it over to Carl Anthony Towns. Towns now finds it again to McDaniels. McDaniels now gets it over to Anthony Edwards and Gobert. But the driving in, range to the ring, no good. Here's Jalen Williams, he'll try to spin it around for a bit. And get even with nobody open. And this one is it. And it. He makes a two point bucket score. Starting up in the first third quarter of the game. Now starting back the other way, we have it across is Anthony Edwards. Edwards gives it again to Carl Anthony Towns. Goes over. Three for Connie. Sinking the triple, no good. Rudy Gobert trying to get that rebound here, and Jalen Williams will not have a dish over. Trying to find an exit door room in between. And now McDaniels has it over to get the empty Edwards. Gives the pass. Carl Anthony Town for two, he makes a lane. You know, that doesn't start things off here for Minnesota, because that would pass the keep out one coming racing out of here, because they were really have been knocking things in there. And for Mike Conley, he's just trying to let Carl Anthony Towns do some job. Doing a lot of ability to lay up in there. And he's growing bored for Edison, New Jersey. And now he's accepted with Minnesota. You gotta take all you can. What an excellent type for Shaggy Portage Alexander. That's when you make a spin, and maybe move around, and a drive. What a make he luck. And here's Gobert. He'll now find it over to get Anthony Edwards. He gives it again to Gobert. Gobert swings the pass again to Towns. Towns with a step drive. Makes it in. That'll be a second bucket for Carl Anthony Towns. They're back down by two. You know, keep it an eye on here for Carl Anthony Towns. That one makes a step in for a great one to take. An easier range has to be a great take. Here's the next door for the layout drive. He makes it in. He has his first bucket right now. 525 left to go in the first quarter. And McDaniels now finds it again to Conley. Conley gets again to Towns for three. He makes a drop. This one is now coming down to a one-point game. 
eight to seven. You know, it just happened to work Carl Anthony Towns. He was wide open. He didn't really think he was going to make that, but as you all may have noticed, he definitely got really well. He's getting, oh, and the bear makes a drop, grabbing block. Uh, what a great axle and tight here for Rudy Gobert. That's when you get to start that over, and you gotta like try to pressure it over. What a great uh, cutting this is for Gobert. He's really knocking it out of you. Here's Towns, right to our middle. Here's the pass to McDaniels. McDaniels, turn two. This one takes him in, and it's now up in the lead, up by one. And now the Warriors Alexander will take his first time out of ball with 4.32 to go in the first quarter of the game. You know, sometimes easier, they gotta talk us over right now because they were really like starting to fall apart. I don't think it wasn't it really falling apart or that necessary to do this, but it, it seemed like it was gonna be like a hard takeover. I mean, nobody is like getting things over and finishing it well. But as you may have already noticed it, I was just definitely checking a look up Mark Diagonalt, um, his head coach, was definitely keeping it up for like a long timer. And just another way to happen that other side of the table was Chris Finch. Yeah, uh, no, seriously though, I'm not kidding. And it's what he has been doing right there. Former player, and now he's the head coach. He was the assistant coach, and now he's the former head coach. They got to expect what they were really expecting to see on one of those head coach after becoming assistants. Now as for being a head coach, it's definitely easier taking it in between. Here's the status right here for Jake Gordix Alexander for this season. Last three games was 33.3. Hey, just nothing happens for Shane Gordix Alexander. I mean, he's doing really good this season, but I think the last three games of the season, I think I was the best. Here's a chance down the door, he gets it again again. Right over again, the door. Door. Moves around inside. This one has the layup, and it's no good. As McDaniels with the rebound. Now the second rebound. Off the go to Towns and foul bucket one. That will be it for the for the Minnesota. That's the Gordix Alexander with his first personal. You know, they don't really start that often because you don't really take them actively for the other teams to try to knock it out of here. But that was no way that he had to do that. All that effort that Carl Anthony Towns brought in here, I never know you could definitely just score the tacos the right way. Yeah, many times the free throw line shooting one, and this will be 4 13 left to go in the first quarter. 11 8, looking for 12 8. So Towns only will make two, two, two shots in as he misses the free throw. And here's Giddy for three. Triple range, no good. Tries to tie this game up, but it was knocked off too short. Now he gives it over to him, McDaniels. McDaniels trying to give over to Obear. On the drive step, and he makes it a. Obear's got his first bucket of the game, and it's for McDaniels with the assist. Just how easy, you could definitely say that Obear was really trying to like shuffle things open. The better offense doesn't really happen with most of them at all time. I just don't have anything else to say about those in there. Here's Anthony Edwards, he gives it over to Marie Gobert. The pass over, and it's stolen by Holmgren. Here's Lillian Stewart, right over toward near the paint. Shoots over McDaniels, and are missed by OKC Thunders. Look how the percentage on happened here, because they were really just shooting it too much after that. And it's not really turning into what they were expecting them to play it like this. They're not shooting it really well, they need to get this one day moving right away. Here's Gobert with the drive, and this one is off the rim, and it's go back to Holmgren. And it's stolen by McDaniels. Oh, back the other way. Now this is not good there, Mike. Off to Towns, he gets it over again to Rudy Gobert. Great pass for Carl Anthony Towns. And Towns gets the second to sit. And there's four points for Rudy Gobert. Now, I just exactly what you need to know, for because I have Rudy Gobert on a strong drive effort. Timeout call by OKC Funders with 2.45 left to go in the first quarter. Here
He changes on the car right now as we have some OKC Thunders and we have some of the Minnesota Wolves. Four players are checked out, four players are checked in. Alexander Walker, Morris, Anderson, and Reed are checked in. And four D Thunders. Couple players checked out as Joe, Hayward, Wiggins, Wallace are checked in. Wiggins, a three. Triple range, no good. Anderson with his first rebound of the night. He will now have to take it over again to Nas Reed. Nas Reed gets again to Morris, Morris again to Anderson. Anderson. Oh, what that shot. Step back for Mikhail Alexander Walker makes a three. He's been making that stellar three pointers in the game in every postseason. You know, just can't let it happen here. Mikhail Alexander Walker had to be a little bit of a hard takeover. But he, he's never going to let this one get by. If he knows he's going to get this one out of there, the right time. I mean, not a question, but it seems like it might be what they are expecting to see. It is never change over again. He has it over again, now finds it again to McDaniels. McDaniels trying to give over. Anderson for three. Hit off the rim and it goes back to Williams. And Wallace trying to step on the inbound. Take a Hayward shot and he's fouled. That will be Reed with his first first goal and a first team foul for Minnesota. This will be your first trip, trip to the free throw for Gordon Gable. <laughs> Makes the first move though. You know, going in when I wasn't always really expecting that how he will do, but you can always still be sure of enough time. You can definitely just try to beat the tackle out of it. If he knows how to make a drive actually. Well, I'm not even sure Gordon Gayward might be doing it at all to the point. But it, it doesn't really seem like they were really are making this one a little bit of a hard, challenging, difficult way for Gordon Gayward to keep that one in for a lineup drive. The best that happened was the best career in the Boston Celtics. This wasn't really easy to keep that one in there. And taking it over wasn't really easy at all. Here's Reed. The step back for two. Off the rim. And it's rolled over again to Gabor. Here's Andrew Wiggins. He will try to have the attackers. Good three for Joe. Stop, boom. It goes in. The two-pointer has made the new one in. And it's now one minute to go in the first. Now he finds the pass to Reed. Reed gets it over again to Alexander Al 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 Walker. Moore Sr. trying to give over again to Anderson. Pocket six. Moore Sr. got to hurry it. Moore's up, and a shot's no good. Now it's back to Wallace. Wallace streaking in his own. They were up, misses the shot. And for the rebound for Wallace, but today. 18-13 game. Oh, looks like they're down by five already. I don't know what's going on, but they need to keep on focusing. The pass over now finds Alexander Walker. The pass again to Morris, and now he has it again to Anderson. Anderson. For the drive. Oh, great cut it bound here. That's a two-point foot on this best performance ever. Now here's Hayward. He'll try to finish things over. Watching in between. The three for Wallace. And this is again. And that moment, that will send to the end of the first half, first quarter. 20 to 13 to score. They are in the lead by seven. Second quarter is coming up right underway after this. You are watching the NBA playoffs in 2K Sports. Hey, if you're just tuning in for the second quarter, we welcome you back. FA Comp Center. Well, we have the tightness of the game here, but the Timberwolves are just kept it on front. Yeah, I don't know what they are doing, but it's going to be a little hard one to take over it. You know, I wouldn't even mind that one, actually. But they are really are keeping the floor in that way, but hopefully that the fun is making keeping the pressure alive. Now, I'm going to start for the OKC Funders, since they're moving on the line on the board. Let's have a look at the, for the Wolves. Rudy Gobert is with on. Uh, Carl Anthony's pounds. Bags McDaniels. He 
He's also along with the other one. Do you want to come along? And then across the here is Anthony Edwards. The foul's called, and I'm rooting for him. That's his first personal foul. You know, you're never going to get that one in there. That one's a little bit hard on, on encouragement, and that is not going to turn it out strike. But the OKC funders, they're really trying to, like, stuff it in there at that moment. The first free press that's in for Gordon's Alexander. You know, just what you just say for Gordon's Alexander that has really done with his dominant pressures, it doesn't mean that scoring defensive on the set had to be a little bit confusing on this one. The time particularly, he's got a lot of them, and he's been he's been trying to do a lot of his like step in the promotional. That doesn't mean like you really have to keep on training it like that. But he's been doing it really strong on the offseason. And now, he's doing it again. This Carl Anthony Towns with another two. He makes it in. And that is 11 points in the game. About eight minutes ago. Just take a look at how that happened to Carl Kahn. And that was the biggest drive that you have ever going to take it over. And that one just got kind of right through it. Losing a dunk out there. Oh, Rudy Gobert. Got that piece of the ball and he gets that out of here. Oh, that's a no more. I'm showing that fair claw of the wall. The pass over now finds again Edwards. The screen. And Edwards trying to roll his drive and he's fouled. That'll be the first foul called on the OKC fund. It was as the Jalen Williams as his first personal and a first team foul for OKC. Aubrey Edwards trying to talk that drive on there. And I was like, I don't know what's going on. That shouldn't be happening like they did. And I agree for coming up here for the OKC. Uh, so the OKC bats with another foul. And for Minnesota, adding another field trip to the free throw. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He makes the first free throw. You know, Aubrey Edwards, how that happened here because of that. It's an IE for sure. I'm really sure that he's gotten pretty well there. Just how he can play it for us since 2020. And that was what they all expected him for him. For Anthony Edwards to play it for his next part of his emotional scoring. And the better drop this up happens, has to be really in confidence to make that feeling go right for 20. Just keep your shame for Alexander. Has already scored a couple of them right at the moment. Why did he get right over again to do it? With the shot, fading, and he goes right to get it. Open left for Williams, and he's got the triple tri cash in. That's 24 to 18. As well, he's got his first three quarter of the night. Just to be an idiot for Julie Williams, that might have been what they were just trying, trying to do. I don't know what's going to keep on coming in, but they were really there trying to like show them off. The pass them are now finding Conley and yes, they already get a Rudy Gobert with the layup drive, and he makes a day. Another two pointer for Rudy Gobert. He is adding with six points of the game. And now here's home break. Outside is Giddy. Conley with him now. Dort watching him and getting right toward the corner. And with a three, Dort misses again. Carl Anthony Towns with another rebound. He now has it over again to go there. This is over again to Edwards. Now he finds Mike Conley. Conley gives it over again to Anthony Edwards. Edwards watching that, watching the play in between, and his house goes up and it goes in. Up and down moment. As this is Anthony Edwards with the assist, Cat with 13 points. You just don't have to sign what Paul Anthony Tom's in mind. That was, was what they all expected now to keep that going. Time out called by the OKC Funders with 5.48 to go. And we're getting a little bit closer to the end of the first half, so we're going to have a little bit of a break and get right back into this. You know, I just always really like that is excellent. Anthony, call Anthony Towns. He's been rocking it right now. And for so long, Anthony Edwards doesn't have one here. Oh, that ain't dead. Big changes here for the Thunders and for the Minnesota Wolves. As right now, if you look at the big start for the both points this season. 17.2 with 22 is our 23 season of the year. 
And I was better at it because of Gay Al's done so much. I was better at stoppage than he has done. And you know the only way to happen? I always say we just scores, but really keeping it right away. I don't know what's going to keep on coming and slowing down, but it's just really like our way to get it through. But it may not be that hard enough to get, to get that through. Here's Anthony Edwards, right? Front towards right, the left wing, and he now has it over again to call Anthony's mouths. Pulls it over to get in, Edwards. The playoff five, he makes it in. Edwards, out of number two, has four points. And Alexander Walker with the assist. Just keep an eye on him because on the girl, Alexander Walker kind of really coming that one for a pretty straightforward guy. Just trying to like push it in the mouth and we're adding something up. After a training three for Josh Kitty, here's Anthony Edwards. He finds him getting Mike Conley. Mike Conley with a draw. And it's rebounded up again to the Burns Allen King. And it's right over again, the other side. And it goes with a thump. Privilege is strong with his first part out of the game. That's back to Calde. Pass over to Edwards. Pass over here to Towns. Towns gives it over again. Now finding Alexander Walker with a try. He makes that one in. The hard number about the score. It's a 32-23 game. Now they're on the other side right now. And it's good to Alexander trying to make sure he did. And a shot. And that will miss again. Will Barrett's got right over down in the game. And he finds it over again to Conley. Conley gives it over again to Will Barrett. Will now finds it again to Anthony Edwards. He finds it over. Conley again. Alexander Walker. Walker. Put a step back for two. This one's missed. Here's Giddy. He'll try to handle it over again or the order to Alexander. And it's denied by Rudy Gobert. Oh, what an excellent target. That is a pusher spy. That is really what they are really narrating. That gonna keep on counting. And Carl Anthony Towns with the layup drive after Towns with the assist. You know, it always easier to make it. It's just not what you really got to do, though, so you saw it. But just keep that one free. Keep it wide right away. And we're going to be for the OKC Thunders. It's at 3426 game. The pass over now finds again to Tim McLaughlin. Now it's at a walker. Excuse me. Now finding Gobert. Tries to give over again. Now finding Conley. And with the shot. Running down. Is it Scott B. Range? And he makes the bucket. What a three for Mike Conley. Makes a three-pointer and the foul falls on Williams. New substitution on the court as McDaniels and Reed are checked in for Gobert and Edwards. One shot left coming up for Mike Conley. Makes the first free throw. Now here's Wallace. Wallace, try to look over again. Watching it, watching it play coming back. And there is another one. That's another one for Chris Wallace. And this one goes right back the other way to Mike Conley. And here's the cap. Back go over to get an Alexander Walker. He tries to roll up again. And this one will go back again to McDaniels. Once again, the doctor still reaching inside. Let miss again. Williams on the outside, trying to see if he can get some to shoot. And a three. And he misses again. Oh, man. That would have been almost the same thing. I cannot really just expect what's going on. But this is definitely a close game. Green, I find again in Cooper. And this one right over to Yankee Towns. Gives it over to Conley. Then Towns for two. And he drops out. That's another two point bucket score. That's the Gordon Alexander. 
20 cents. Now to it, Gordon Hayward. We'll try to give it over. With the shot lands to flat it off the read. And I'd say, for a year. And, you know, trying to see what I can do if there is another chance. Now about the score, will this be McDaniels? Nice three. He makes that one in there. That's another three quarter of the game. And Mike Conley with the assists. You know how to happen now? Everybody's taking a little bit of water on this one. We're really sure that they were really expecting that how can they play each other. And for some of our hearts, I was really sure enough they found out now why to get it through. We are under a minute left to remain in the store. And this way it rolls back the other way. It's getting real. And here's the breath. And this will be the time on the ball by Minnesota Wolves. We just need it down the end of the first half. And as we're running this film, we've got the halftime show coming up. That'll be after the first half is completed. And then the second half, we will have the other side on, on the first look of experiences. Right in between and how they're going to do. Keep it out, look out. Yeah, in between. Hi, I know you all. The Trump News Focus. Just do it by Senate and do it the right time. So now we all the game started a different way coming up, right after this one, and then we'll get back into the game. Now with some new substitutions here for the Wolves and for the Thunders, as right now as Mike Conley's checked that back on the court. And McLaughlin, he should take over. And Daniels makes an R1. They were under 30 seconds, it's a 45-28 game. And Joe, with the, with the uh, turn and the three, it's missed again. Here comes Al Horford. Al Horford, trying to let it slow down. And that's where it goes now. It means like that their shorty days are over. That means the professional back basketball player and the white orchestra player right by them all. And we will head into the halftime. We'll see you all there. We'll come back right after this break. But first, we I send you over to David Aldridge. Hi, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Carl, you guys have built a lead. What is the key to maintaining or increasing it going it forward? I mean, don't change the window. So stay together, keep passing the ball, uh, keep playing great defense, and just keep making them think and make decisions, uh, especially the difficult ones. You had the advantage in the first half. We'll see if you can keep that advantage in the second half. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you. All right, thank you, David. And we'll see you all later for the halftime show. show. And we get ready for the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. So far, a pretty uh, lopsided game, but still one half to play. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Tanny the Jet Smith. What a start it was for Carl Anthony Towns. He ended up with 17 points, three assists, and three rebounds. And uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Timberwolves? Credit these guys for coming in with the right game plan and then patiently executing. Most of their shots are coming to slow the offense. Really, they can get the back shot. Good, clean first half. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Thunder. It's their defense that's put them in this fight. Giving up easy looks all over the place. It's like they don't have even a, a game plan in place. So, how do you feel about it? Well, that's not going to cut it, honey. I don't even want to talk about it no more. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, for you, we think it's gonna be and we're ready to get this thing comeback, going. Though, it's going to be a big comeback right in between the those two. And we're ready to see who's going to get there. Now let's have a look over here. The cat is just putting in great effort. Do you think he is really cool or not? Well, I was really sure that Carl Anthony Towns has been really like a prophetic on the rule. I have never seen of anyone who has been taking any of a kind. Well, hopefully that might be what the chance is. I'm hoping this one should be good. We're ready to start the second half and we are ready to get this thing on. Here we go. And a start with the Sanford Drive for Shane Burris Alexander. It's a 45-30 game. 
great, great finish here for the first half, but let's find out what happens with the second half. Here in the groups here from Minnesota Wolves. Mike Conley, he's with uh, Rudy Gobert. Then it's Carl Anthony Towns with Andre McDaniels. And with the app is Anthony Edwards, right towards his shooting in position. Here's Edwards with a firing round of shot for two, and he makes a drive without the shot clock being whipped out and turning it over into Thunder's ball with 7.20 to go. That was a little bit, almost a little bit too tough. I don't know what's going to be keeping on happening, but that might be a little too much here, but we're hoping that this might be okay with that. Anyway. The little best by the OKC Thunders. Well, they're not shooting what they need to do. I mean, they're not, they have no idea what's going on. I mean, if they keep on shooting, then they're not even doing the best thing as they can, because They've got to need to get this one right done. Easier how to get this one finished. Here's Edwards. And this is the ball. And it rolls over and out of bounds. The Thunder's ball. It's a 47 to 30 game. Just can't believe it. That is what they all need to be showing in. And they, and they turn it over. That, that's a bad look. Shaking Gordix Alexander is one of the steals of the game. He's in second place. Well, I'm just going to keep on doing with the steals if you can. It's not what you really are. Fine line do, and it's just kind of a hard way to get this one finished. Here's Kenny with a two. Missed that one again. That will be another big rebound for McDaniels. That's his fourth rebound tonight. The three. Here's an airway for Edwards. Drains it. Burning outside. That's nine points in the game. Now up ahead by 20. You know you can always shoot for Anthony Edwards, but that's what you all can definitely say for. Anthony Edwards trying to have an extension and for scoring a big wasn't really happening for most of the occasionals. I was really sure that they could just try and like keep that going. That might be a spot about it. Well, if you got that one in there, you may have an uh, unlucky take. If there is, sure, I guess that if their Blue Jets don't make it right, just go back in it. Six to shoot. McDaniels. The three for Edwards. And the three pointer outside is missed, and it's rebounded by Spielberg to Alexander. Here's William. Back the other way he goes. Spin around. And three for Gordon to Alexander. Tracy shot. <laughs> Timeout called by Minnesota Timber Wolves. But 5.28 to go in the third. And as of this moment, we are just making our way down to the end of the third quarter. For 44. We'd like to remind you about the NBA playoffs in 2K Sports and brought to you by Starry Lines. American Express. Don't live life without it. And by AT&T. Connecting changes everything. A little bit of a different group here as we have a little bit of a change up for Minnesota and UKC. And we have a look over here. Let's talk about Rudy Gobert. He is really a fantastic player of his center guard defense. How his effort got really to a great muscle inbound, and that is what they all have to do for Rudy Gobert's better take on that. Here's another one for Anthony Edwards. He now has it over again, trying to pass it again to Towns. Towns now finds it over again to Morris. Morris, stepping it out on the drive. He makes it in. Third two-pointer, he ends his first bucket. Now it's Edwards with the with the rebound with five minutes left. Before it's Alexander trying to step it in. Three for door. And this one's missed again. It's back to Gobert. You know, they're not shooting it correctly. I don't know what's going on, but uh, hey, this is what you don't really play for. I mean, don't try to take anybody away from it. The pass over that finds again to Towns. Towns, with the firing shot range, this one makes it in the layup. 54 36, Anthony Edwards with the assist. Carl Anthony Towns has got 19 points in this game. Now he'll try to scoop it in. Lose the ball out of here, and now it's back in over again to Monte Morris. Has his number steal of the game. Here's an arrow over Rudy Gobert. Passes over to Morris. Morris trying to give over again to Anthony Edwards. Edwards trying to give over to Towns. Towns with the setback. 
This is again from Minnesota. Just four minutes left in the third quarter. As now he gives it over to Giddy and he makes the three. Another two pointer catches off. Back to Barnett Alexander with the assist. But I would have said if he makes the three pointer, it would have been a closer game. But I don't think they didn't really get in there at four. They had to be really close at all. 54 to 38 was really a little bit unscaled properly. But I don't know what's going to keep on coming down. Here's another take over to get to Anthony Edwards. With a step back for two, and he does it again. Anthony Edwards silencing the crowd in game number six. Happy Comic Center. I don't know what's going to keep on happening. That is just unbelievable. I can't believe it will do it again. Another miss here by Big Vertex Alexander. And now here's another take here for Carl Anthony Towns. He gives it over again to Morris. Pass over to Alphine's Towns. All the way over. Now I need to get a Morris. Morris moving up at the shot. And he will take another two points. That's the second bucket. A 58-38 game. Under three minutes left remaining in the third quarter. He will now have it over to Shane Gordix Alexander with another new take. Pass it over to Holmgren. Holmgren. Try to double man him, four for three, has a triple range knockdown. 58 for 41 is the score. And we're nearing down the two minute mark, because right now he's our take here for Morris. Morris now tries to get over again. Then Edwards. Edwards will now have it over, up and over, head past the Towns. Towns with the shot. Able to take that one in. Now a bucket made, what a showdown this is. Why you just don't believe it? Roy B. Towns has been like trying to keep it in there. He is really like keeping the attackers in. Timeout called by OKC Funders with 2 7 left to go in the third. Just got to keep it going in there. Poppy Edwards playing at Towns, make another drive. And we have another quick break as we'll get right back to you soon. Hey folks, just a quickly reminder as we have some couple of games that's happening here in game seven that's gonna be right around across it on the other side. As we really have been expecting right now, as we have a lot of edits here going in between. Uh, I'm so sorry with the, the noise in the background of the issues, but uh, as you may have already noticed, he was like already home alone and, and you always notice that he, he didn't really set up rain for the app, but this is not sponsored by this video. <laughs> Well, as you may have already have noticed it before, but this is what everyone is going to take into. We're going to have a little bit of a lot of time left. But this might be what they were really expecting it. Due to this good part of the games here, as for the conference finals, we will be dropping down to seven minutes as part of it due to the earlier range here from, from the hour of the durations for this video. So, we'll try to do the best as we can. But this may not be easy what they might be going with. So we'll see what happens. Is now we can check back on the court and we're in our takeover to Wallace and with Gordon Gayward. Anderson with Reed and across the mirror is Kyle Anderson. He's a fast. He's wearing South Sam. For three minutes a day. 60 44 the score. We're under two minutes left to go in the third. Fast connecting and a big chance over to get that winner in. Cash that blue. Got a dock. McLaughlin now finds it again to Anthony Edwards. And he's a chance here from McLaughlin. Trying to let it over, go by again with McDaniels. Put a step back for two. Missed that one again. That's his home game with a rebound. Got it again to Gordy Alexander. Here's a take for Edward, and he makes it dry. And it's for Gordy Alexander with another assist of the game. We're nearing the final minute in the third quarter as he gets it over again to Anthony Edwards. Passing is just a key. I mean, I don't really see what's going to happen, but that really just made this one slowing it down a bit. I just really have no idea why. And shot, oh, Anderson. Must have got a rejection out of that. Well, it's true now. That happens to me, Carl Anderson. He went to score on first blocking rejection. That is certainly excellent if he has been starting things out. A great alert defense on his appearances. You might have to start thinking of it more if you got some things on. And it's back back the other way. It's Jen Holmgren with the block shot. Oh, look how good that Jen Holmgren is. I mean, that strong defense got a great lead. And 
three-pointer puts it up. It's a 68-49. Wiggins with the with three-pointer. With 30 seconds left to remain in the third quarter. Now the clock will now over again to Edwards. He goes right over again to Reed. Reed tries to get over again to McLaughlin. McLaughlin gets again to McDaniels. Five seconds to shoot. He got to make it through on a shotting range, and this one makes it a 62 to 49 to score. And we're down to 10 seconds. Here's the mate. And he makes an error. Gordon Hayward trying to like answer it in. Back down by 10. And one more take for the Wolves. And the last one will be it. And that's going to do it. Third quarter. It's a 62-52 game. They trail by 10. Well, I'm not really noticing what's going to happen, but I think the Thunders are trying to like rally this game and go ahead to, on to move on to the conference finals. But the Timberwolves, they're trying to stop him by. Well, hopefully there might be a changing in for Efren Cowan. And we've come down to the end of the third quarter. The fourth quarter is up next after this break. Well, we get started. Let's have a look at the state for the of the game. Just how incredible that is. And that has to be what they're expecting. That playable has to give it to Tom's. Bounce shot, fucking one. That's just broken. Playables is really what they all need. But let's face the fact of it. As you know, for Monty Morris, I got that one clean with the opening looking in down. Three quarters down, one more to go. All set and ready. Mike Conley screwed this on the court right to start. Here's the final group here for the Minnesota Wolves. It's now is Anthony Edwards with Carl Anthony Towns. And Mike Conley keeps with the unbelievable bear. And finally, it's Kyle Anderson right towards the corner. That push of Russell puts it in. Carl Anthony Towns has got 23 points. Just how amazing you would buy for Anthony Towns. He's been like on fire. No, really, really, he is on fire. And just like when you do it for now, I mean, that's what happens when you don't really get their eyeballs fit for it. Like, they are really have been knocking you out again. Here's Anderson. Anderson with the driving in, and he makes that one another bucket. Anderson with the second bucket of the game. It's a 66-52 game. And almost stoles it away. Tries to get over again to Dora. Dora. And Williams, 33 for Wallace, and it's another miss here. That gives it over now to Conley. Try to give over again, now to move over again to Conley. Conley on the pass, looks it over. Try to help that one out of here. And here's, and here's Iverson, giving it over. Nope, it's Wallace. Now it's Anthony Edwards. On a driving shot, and he makes it in. Another two-pointer. For the Thunder, for the Wolves, as he has 13 points. Oh man, kind of quiet right now. Just like that happened in Game Four already. I mean, it's not really easy. Just like Game Three in overtime, they made this for the win. They had that one coming back straight away, and they had nowhere else to go. But they're really trying to make this for a lot harder, man. And they have a chance. Now here's Mike Conley. He will try to give over again to Edwards. Edwards decided to call for timeout, but this one still keeps it alive with under six minutes to go. And with a shot, with two. Under miss by the OKC Thunders. Mike Conley still trying to have another free throw taken. And now it's Williams. The shot makes it in. 68 to 57 to score. Actually getting down to a five minute mark in the fourth quarter of the period. I know. I mean, a little disappointment already. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen, but they're going to get really big, whacked out, and paid already. And taking it out of here for what's more. Yeah, I know it happens, but I really have to have a confidence how to happen with this part of a guy. Just really need to get this one stepped up. And Towns makes another drive in here. That's another two pointer. That will be number 25. Oh, look how well the pressure is. If you play it for here on the offense and defense, you've got to do the right way to have it in. The rebound puts the end by Anderson. He now has it over. Swing it in. With a shot, and he makes a throw down. Five eight pounds. Silence and round at Baycom Center. That was how it happened. I was really not even noticing about it. It's really taking a lot of time, pressure time. They're really all over it. 
first part of the game that's going to be in the second round to finish things up. And then the second game that's going to be on the other side of it, as we've got it really looks in between for the Bruins and the Maple Leafs, that'll be on the other side of it, happening here at 5.30 p.m. And then the third game will be the next one here for the, for the Western Conference uh, Conference semifinals, as this will be the Canucks facing against the Golden Knights. That will be happening here at 8.30 p.m. And then only one game will be happening here with the first look of the Heat and the Celtics. That will be the first game at 8.30 p.m. And then this game at Game 7 will be the Thunders and the Minnesota if necessary. And I think there might be. So that's going to be all games here, only on Center Beast. New Browns player of the game goes to Carl Anthony Towns. Now, you really saw that Carl Anthony Towns has been playing it so well. I mean, just what you can definitely know for. Better chance effort. That just really makes it a good, great lucky saving of the night. And that is what you take. Better payouts in this one here. I was really sure enough that Carl Anthony Towns may done it for another season. But his postseason is going to keep it alive again and again. Gage Mike Conley will now slot tired things down. As right now he hands it over to again to McDaniels with two minutes to go. Two Back to Conley. Two minutes. Edwards from the outside. He tries to fire at everyone. Another two pointer misses again. Jalen Williams with the rebound, and Pat trying to watch on him. Gets the board to Alexander. Williams for three, and he has a miss again. Edwards with his fifth rebound. Try to have it over again, Towns. Towns, try to roll it in there. Diagles it over, off to Edwards. Edwards with the slam, and he just made this one a kapow! I don't believe it! Anthony Edwards. I just really can't believe it. That one just made this one. Get off of home ground. My. That's a big run of drive I've ever seen that coming. Oh, that's just no lie. I was really scared of it. I thought that was going to be an offensive foul. But that didn't really change it over. And I was really scared of it. Well, that didn't really change it anything. Well, as you know, we understand now that it seems like it's a great way to have Anthony Edwards to close the day. With 17 points in the game, it's an 80 to 70 game. They're trying to let them see they can definitely do this one again. And Edwards misses again. Oh, we're the rebound. I'm trying to find it over again. And Dwarf sliding his way, laying up up, and it's again. We're down to uh, under a minute remaining in the fourth. Here's the pass, finding to get Edwards. Gives it off to Reed. Reed gives it again to Conley. Conley, trying to pull it in. Now back again to Edwards. Edwards with the two. He fires it up and makes that shot good. He has 19 points in this game, finishing off with this regulation uh, period of the game. And now this one goes back the other way as he works Alexander at the night three. Well, I don't know if it's not going to be enough time anyway. It looks like that's going to be the end of it because the Bull Wolves are just firing it out. And that's what happens now. I mean, they're just like kicking it out of here. Conley will spot, slow things down right now. And with 10 seconds, six to shoot. Conley, just the last chance here for the Timberwolves. And that's going to end it here with the last group substitution for the Thunders and the Timberwolves. Last groups are on the board. Joe Hayward and also, of course, well, we all call it that way, Anderson, McLaughlin, and definitely Anderson. And that's going to do it here for the six games. 82 to 73 is the final score. What a way to get back in to tie this series up. Well, as you always know, you can't win at all. It's about to do or die. In between the Flinders or the Timberwolves. Chance now to send you over to David Aldridge for the New Balance Player of the Game. Who do you have, David? Thank you, Kevin. With Carl Anthony Towns, you look so calm on the block. What has that focus been like for you? Just being patient, uh, waiting for my shot to come, not really forcing anything, but also being aggressive. And you do both very well. Thanks, Kat. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you so much, you guys.
And that's going to do it here for our next guys. I hope you enjoyed this part of the game, and we'll see you all again for the next one. Peace out, folks. Until next time, have a great night in OKC. The Flight Ball, Woods Booty, and Me Phone. And along with David Aldridge, this has been a presentation. Thanks for joining us. All right, thank you guys so much. With the great ones at Minnesota, they're on a back-to-back -back games with a win. And now they're heading back into game number seven for the last time here for the second round before the Western Conference Finals. That's going to be happening in here. We're still waiting on for our next part of the matchups as the Dallas Mavericks are already away in the Western Conference Finals. This time, the Minnesota Wolves got them pretty insane. With 63 field goal percentage, 46 points in the paint, 32 assists in the game, then it was 30 defensive rebounds with two steals, five blocks. Then it was 20 biggest lead with 19-14 time possession of the game. While the Funders on the other side had three pointers for 46 percentage with 83 percentage of the free throws. It was even up for the fast break points. Seven second chance points give and also 18 bench points for OKC. That was pretty, pretty impressive. Eight offensive rebounds for OKC Funders. Then, it was happened with those guys who just had to even up with the points off with team fouls and two dunks. Well, you may have already expected now, OKC Funders and Minnesota Timberwolves, it's going to be a close game in the battle. battle. And now it's time for three-star players of the game. I start it over as the time is running down right now. I need to go over to start off with Shirley Rewards Alexander. With 17 points, 2 rebounds, 6 assists, and he only got 6 out of 11 field goals. With 3 free pointers in out of 5, and it was 31 performance effort. Just excellent now, but I think this next one will be game 7. It's going to be a hard one to take. Now, the next one up Anthony Edwards with 19 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists, and it was 8 out of 11 field goals with 1 3 pointer, 32 performance effort, and then 1 dunk. He just had that one finishing in there just to come back to life, and that really explains it. He's doing great. How excellent it is, you can't let them slow down. And for your number one star, your new balance player of the game, this one keeps on coming. We give a good special credit to Carl Anthony Towns with 9.29 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists, 14 out of 16 field goals with one three-pointer, 40 performance effort. I mean, wow. Can you feel like that you are definitely the MVP player to, to play on the court and with one dunk too? I can't even believe that Carl Anthony Towns has been doing really well. Well, I guess you all have to say now, I mean, that is the only game that's happening here. And with that one, keep your eyes on the next game for Game 7 of NHL. That's going to be happening here for tomorrow night. So this will be all three games that's happening here. And with just only one game that will be up underway to have a first look of the Eastern Conference Finals between the Heat and the Celtics. So that will be the next one on its way for the start of the first game, happening at 8.30 p.m., and that will be the first game to keep on coming. In the meantime, thanks for joining us here, and I will see you all again for the next part of the game. Peace out for a while as the NBA playoffs in 2K Sports Style. This is Tyler Beast. See you all again for the next game of NHL and NBA. Good night, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.